Welcome to lesson 16 of Learn C. And um, this lesson is actually based uh, loosely on a real life story that happens to me that ha has happened to uh, engineers I've known in industry and stuff. So here's the, here's the scenario that happened. Um, uh, your boss comes in with a, and gives you a file, it says calibration data. So you work for a medical device company and um, the, the, one of the devices in the field, they do a calibration every day. It's in some um, uh, clinical um, lab or something like that. And, um, and they record it and it's a 10 point calibration and they record it all the time. And your boss uh, comes in, uh, hands you this, uh, the flash drive and says, hey, there's, here's this uh, folder with all this calibration data in it. Um, uh, tell me what's going wrong. Something's going wrong with this machine. Can you plot out the slope and the intercept um, and the regression and the R squared of, um, of the linear, do the linear regression on each of these data files and then plot it out, plot the, out the slope versus date and just tell me, just, let's, let's see if we can look for trends. This, I mean, this in a, a matter of uh, where it's actually did, really did happen. So this is a real life um, scenario here. And so you go, sure boss, I, I'm happy to do that. So you look in the calibration data and you say, da, 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 da. how many files? A thousand files? Oh my gosh, just three years worth of data. Hmm. Well, I better get started. Okay, so I'm going to get started. I'm going to go to Excel. <laughs> data sheet. File. Open. Browse. Desktop. Calibration data. Uh, Excel files. Let's go to text. Files. Let's click on this one. Let's do the first one. Next, it's got to be a space in between because the data is not tabbed. It's finished. Okay, finished. Okay, click, insert, scatter plot, that kind. Go in here, do a trend line, do more on the trend line, more options. Do, 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 do. I want to see the equation, and I want to see the R squared. 2.0613 is the slope, 0.5383 is the intercept, 0.9961 is the R squared. Okay, write that down. It took me a 30 seconds, some minutes to do. So times a thousand, that's a day, that's two days work, right? So it's a day or two of work and a day or two of uh, carpal tunnel syndrome, right? And to do all thousand files that way, right? I'm telling you right now that I could do this job. I could do that job for my boss in about a couple hours. You know, it'd take me a couple hours to make sh dead sure it's all right, but I could um, I'd do it all in a couple hours with uh, C. And so that's kind of what we're we're going to lead to. And the first step on that road in C is to write our own program to calculate these regression values, right? So that's what this uh, lesson's about: is uh, doing the linear regression. Hmm. So here I am, I, I made lesson 16 and I'm using it just as a blank, uh, as a, a blank program right now, because, um, uh, you know, there's not, um, uh, there's not that many precedents to do. We're going to be using a lot of the tools that we've learned about already. And, um, uh, really what we need to do is we need to, um, know what the equations for linear regression are. Well, here they, oops, here they are, and um, um, you can see that M and you have all these sums. Uh, so sum X is just, we've already done that to calculate the average because the average value of X is the sum of X divided by N. And the average value of Y is the sum of value by Y. So if you have this X, Y paired data, this uh, X and Y columns, um, you can calculate X bar, you can calculate Y bar, you can calculate the sum of X and sum of Y. The sum of X, Y is just X1 times Y1, X2 times plus X2 times Y2 plus X2 times Y3, X3 times Y3, and so on. And sum of X squared is the sum of X1 squared plus the sum of X2 squared plus the sum of X3 squared, etc. And this term is just this squared, that, that term squared. So you can do, so it's, it's just a bunch of sums, right? And we already know how to do the sums in terms of average. 
average is a great template for almost all sorts of statistical calculations. And we're going to prove that today. So the, the only algorithm we need for this is really just the sum. We just need to sum up data points as we load them into the file. Okay, cool. So I'm going to do that. So I need a bunch of variables, right? So I need, I don't need to store the X array and Y array. So I'm just going to say float X float Y. And then I need another, a bunch of, um, another bunch of variables. I need uh, float sum X, float sum Y, float sum XY. I'm, look, I'm just looking at all the variable, all the um, equations here. Uh, float sum XX, float sum YY. That's it. I need uh, I need values for to store all the, the slope intercept and uh, r and r squared. So I need float m, e r and r two for r squared. I need a, a couple of uh, I need a counter probably. I need a file. Let's see, let's start with that and see how far I get here. So I can go um, fp equals f open um, arg v1 read. And I know that I know it's 10 points, so I'm just going to do it as 10 points. 4 i equals 0, i less than 10, i plus plus. F scan F P percent P e percent G and X and Y to get the the eighth value of X and Y for each loop. Oh. Right, so I'm scanning data, but I want to do it the way we did it um, back um, in one of the lessons where we just do it all in one for loop. We don't have to store the whole array. We just we just need to store the X and Y value of the moment. So what I want to do is I want to um, uh, initialize all these very these sums to zero. You can do this in the command, I mean, in the declaration statement. I don't like to do that, but I just wanted to teach you that trick. In general, I don't like to do that, but I just, I'm going to do it for this particular problem. Um, it's not perfect. You know, normally you should initialize them right before the for loop so that anybody can see that. But for a small program like this, it's probably going to be okay. So then inside this for loop, we need to say sum x equals sum x plus x, sum y equals sum y plus y, sum x x y equals sum x y plus x times y sum xx equals sum xx plus x times x sum yy equals sum yy plus y times y um, and we need the number of points so int n equals 10 for the equation there So, m equals, I'm going to go over here, I'm going to do this thing here, and I can see both at the same time, m equals n times sum xy minus sum x times sum y over n times sum xx minus sum x times sum x. C doesn't do squared. You can't do up arrow to do squared. You just have to do it that way. I'm going to get to square and square root in a minute with um, a fun, uh, and a, uh, uh, the um, C, built in C function uh, OW. And it's, I believe it's in math.h. I'm going to get to that in a minute. We have to do the square root there. But for now, for now, instead of doing squared, I just do times itself. It's pretty easy. People can understand that. 
So B equals sum Y divided by N minus M times sum X divided by N. So Y bar is sum X Y divided by N. X bar equals sum X divided by N, and so that works. And then R equals, huh, well, I have this denominator thing, so I'm going to add another variable that's going to help me a little bit. Calculate the denominator first. It's so crazy, so I'll say nom equals N times sum XX minus sum x times sum x times n, oops, n times sum y y minus sum y times sum y. So r equals n times sum x y minus sum x times sum y divided by the square root of this denominator. So the way to do that was with this pow term. Pow denom to the 0 0.5 power. And R2 equals R times R. I could have said pow R comma 2. Okay. So F so F F M B R two. So I'm opening it at the command line. I'm going to do the command line prompt. I'm going to uh, and I'm going to just print the value out to the screen. This is just the first step, by the way, to me being able to do um, uh, to do those thousand files just like that. I mean, the actual processing of those files, I'm going to try to do in just one individual program eventually. So we're going to work on that. We're going to work on file name opening, opening all the files in order, storing all the print, the, the slope um, intercept and R squared results into a single file, all that stuff. We're going to try and do that um, all in one big program. Um, uh, but for now, the step one is just can, with one file, can we do a... Um, um, uh, can we do the slope intercept in R squared? Well, I don't know errors. And, and I need the data file, so I gotta go back here and I gotta go here. I'm gonna just take the first one that we did. I'm gonna click Control C, go in here, go in here. Control B, execute, compile. Okay, then I want to do it at the command line, so I go command. And that's the same answer we got um, from Excel. Cool, huh? So, um, so, so you know, the what are what's what are some of the upshots of this? If I gave you this formula and go, I can't do that. I don't know how to do that. Of course, we know how to do that. We know how to take the sum in C. We know the algorithm for taking the sum. It's just this for loop and sum x equals sum x plus x, sum y equals sum y plus y. That's easy. And so if it just gets more complicated, we just, the sum of xy, you just put xy there. If it's x squared, you put x times x. I mean, that's all pretty easy. And then the, the math is just making sure that you write the equations down right. The only real new thing is this POW term, being able to do the square root of something, right? 
That's the only thing kind of new that we've done. It's all just a little bit more complicated. This is why I bore you to death with the average because the average is a really good template for all sorts of statistical tests. I could, right now, you could go find the equation for standard deviation of data and, you, and be able to write an equation that, write a program that spits out the standard deviation of a list of numbers, right? Because it's just another, one other equation with sums and squares and stuff in it. So that means you're gonna be ready for statistics class. That's what that means. Cool, so that's the step one. This is lesson 16. That's the sort of the beginning of the linear regression of being able to answer our boss's call to um, plot out the slope and intercept of um, three years worth of calibration data from a particular medical device. That's it.